Hi, my name is Alex, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this uh, men bun hairstyle based on the haircut that we have previously created, which is this slick back look. So we'll extend the hair a little bit and we'll give like a short ponytail. And actually, uh, in the second part, I'll give it uh, actual bun. Uh, so now I have selected the model and selecting the hair particles and I will smooth them out and I will lengthen the hair now uh, just make it a little bit longer and now in the side view I will shorten it a bit so it has even length I would actually like to add a few more hair strands in the back so it's a little bit more rounded out in the back uh, it's not just abruptly ending so i will select add again and hit n on the keyboard to bring out the menu and i want to make sure that the interpolate is on so i'm adding a few hair strands here in the back and Control i to invert it invert the selection and now I'll bring them closer to the hair to the hair so you can see that now I'll need to adjust the vertex group and uh, I will need to paint extra map to add this red area there I'll select the way to one and we'll start adding the red areas where the hair will grow so now you can see that the hair is starting to appear in the back as well all right now we can continue go back to the edit mode and pull all these hairs together make it nice and tight sort of give it a little bit more shape in the front these kind of hairstyles tend to be a little bit more tight to the scalp but in general i'll still want to give it a little nice shape okay so at this point i will uh, add a hair tie just create a uh, extra geometry give it a torus and i will scale it down to match sort of the same scale of a hair tie that would be in real life and bring it to where the hair tie should be make it slightly larger and something like this will do now i'm switching back to particle mode and bringing in the hairs making sure they fit inside this hair tie so i'm now selecting everything again all the hair ties i mean all the hair particles and adjust some hairs in the back smooth out some of these parts in the back and make sure they fit inside the hair tie that we previously created I'll give it a little bit more length and still comb it inside adjust the stub piece and some of these strands may be uh, a little bit separated so i'm just trying to make sure that everything is nicely organized so i'll puff this out a little bit more and uh, if we look at the reference you can see how it's supposed to look and that's about right So now I'm just duplicating the stores and 
sort of make it a little bit uh, more like in real life. Uh, go to sculpting mode and I will uh, grab this uh, tie, hair tie, and uh, sculpt it a little bit so it gives it, give it a little bit more realistic shape. All right, so here we have like some of these uh, extra particles sticking out. So I'm just grabbing with my lasso tool and sticking them inside the haircut so they're not out of place. So this is our sort of short hair ponytail and let's move on to the man bun. We'll uh, actually need to create uh, this a uh, little bit larger. So I grabbed the tips of the particles and I want to actually preserve the strand length. Actually, I want to turn off the strand length and pull it out uh, so the strands don't preserve their length, but uh, I actually can take only those uh, points uh, at tips and I can uh, move them out. So selecting the tips and hit G for grab and move them out somewhere where the length is much longer than what we have. So now there's a much longer ponytail. So now I'll add uh, more subdivisions inside this um, segments. I want to subdivide them more so if i have, have if i hit control plus i will select uh, the next row of the particles the keys actually and we'll hit subdivide now you can see that there's a row of keys that are added in the middle so i will repeat this process i will uh, subdivide it again so now we have a few more segments to work with So now check in the strand length again so that uh, the length is being preserved. I'll turn on the children and we'll shape it into a bun. Okay, so now I'm actually turning it off again to see how I can actually shape it. I'll subdivide it one more time so we have a lot more keys to work with and I'm grabbing the tips again and if you hit G on the keyboard you can move these particles these uh, tips around so you can actually grab uh, these particles with G and move it to where you want so we kind of give it like a the bun hairstyle where it kind of flips on itself. So if you hit control and plus, you can select more of these, uh, the next rows of the keys and you can select like, like so. Then you can start shaping. If you need like some parts of the hairs deselected, you can just simply use the lasso tool and deselect it so that it's uh, not in the way and uh, yeah simply start shaping these uh, the hairs once again I'm selecting the tips and one of these strands is giving me a trouble so I just want to deselect that and I'll bring this part inside our hair tie which serves us as a guide as a template for so now you see there's a, this uh, hair is kind of jagged, so I'll go to the settings again and I'll bump up the render steps and viewport display strand steps to 8. So now you can see that's a lot smoother. So sometimes you get this bug where it, the hair is not uh, giving you the right preview, so you just need to select some of these uh, hairs and move them 
and it will it will uh, display correctly in the viewport and now again putting everything inside nice and tight turn on the children so i can see the real-time feedback and shape the bun a little bit more So I'm just uh, moving in the viewport and from all the angles that uh, everything is nice and tight and not intersecting the actual hair tie. So I will uh, put this extra particle that was giving me trouble earlier. I will stick that inside so it's not uh, out. So now I'll grab this light and we'll put it back so we can see a little bit better what's happening. And uh, I will adjust some of these tips. Puff them out a little bit and give them a little bit more natural hair look. So now I'll just uh, smooth, shade smooth the hair tie and give it the material. Now it looks a little bit better. And so this is our final result for making this man bun from the slick back hairstyle to the man bun so thank you for watching and if you have any questions as usual uh, put them in the comments so i may address them and thank you for watching and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day